versus Slate. Hmm. Did you bring any mushrooms for me, Omu? Today I bring only the might of nature. Gotta be scrappy with scraps. Patched up. I must return to the field.
Ilmu versus Elusia. I do things my own way. Witness the ways of my forest. You are growing strong!
Mambu versus Lillian. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Witness the ways of my forest. Gotta be scrappy with scraps. Ready for action! I see you are thriving! I see you are thriving! Is it moon glowing? Job's done. Torin Grunge Way is more my thing. Oh. 
This is a moon blade. Trust no one, not even me. Frequencies equalized. I see you are thriving. Kalimdora Palooza was better. I see you are thriving. tried my best.
curses! Fire heart! I won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. Witness the ways of my forest. of the essence. Have much time. No shame in learning. I see you are thriving. for the tour? I see you are thriving. I see you are thriving.
Good morning, my beautiful cow. Move versus all move. Witness the ways of my forest. Let the stronger of us decide.
of the essence. Thriving. You are growing strong. I see you are thriving. Gotta be scrappy with scraps. of the essence. Versus Elise. The League of Explorers cannot fail. Witness the ways of my forest.
Yes, Gotta be scrappy with scraps. Growing strong! Versus Lillian! Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Witness the ways of my <laughs> forest! So sorry I can't do uh, the commentary today. Um, just gonna play the game just have to watch 
I'll try and mask them with uh, different uh, things I'm thinking about just to make it easy for you to understand my decisions. But yeah, um, I'm never talking. Maybe if we get to like 10 minutes, I'll start. Um, <clears throat> got a bit of a cold, if that's a problem. Okay, so uh, sit back and enjoy the games. will be severe. Treasure six feet under. I want six plus three.
is of the essence. I see you are thriving. You're here for the tour? Do you need a blessing? Everything looks up to code. out of time. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Gotta be scrappy with scraps. Time is of the essence. Thriving. Everything looks up to code. I'm almost out of time. Oh. 
race cancelled! Oh. Room to grow! Watch out! I know what you did. Spirit of the flame, turn them to ash! Good morning, my beautiful cats. Time is of the essence. Room to grow. My torment is my means. Okay, uh, I think I can speak for a little bit now. Can I win this turn? That's the question. Hmm. Should be able to. My goodness! I hope that doesn't do anything too much. Ah. What was that? A bit of an underwhelming test screen then. Okay, uh, right. Uh, he doesn't realize what sort of power play I've got this turn. Alright, here we go. Let's buff this up. And. Yeah, we do this. Boom. That was nice. <clears throat> yeah. So it's a hyper aggressive deck, this, uh, especially with the uh, iron roots and small backpacks. Packs. Small backpacks are very important to get things going to make sure I've got a smooth curve so I can pick from the optimal combination of uh, options. 
beasts do we have beasts and if we do do we really care about them We've got this one beast here no not really no so we're definitely not taking this silence can be useful even though immune sometimes um discover a minion or a spell now if we could discover this that would be pretty good um <clears throat> even our, our best minion even though it's one which we're never going to play because it's so expensive this discover minion for a deck to summon so no so we're not taking any of these and generally when you've got a good deck you don't want to dilute it so i'm gonna stick with this <clears throat> so you can clearly see the idea of the deck very straightforward deck to play quite, quite a few nuances um for those who've been following me a long time ago you're gonna know that i'm a token druid main if you want to call it that it's my favorite type of deck but i've played it so many times even when i'm getting bored of it in standards so i'd like to play more more uh, explosive um you know spectacular decks now like combo decks things like that decks which feel different every time you play them so burn mage very powerful deck I'm probably that's probably my strongest deck at the moment but I just don't like playing it because the games seem to be very repetitive uh, yes so maybe my reason for playing games is my downfall because I like to enjoy the games so yeah. aren't games meant to be for enjoying let's have a look at this Stand aside, it is time to save the <clears throat> so, so these cards are pretty good I'm going to refresh equal to this so that can get me an extra four I could play four mana card then play this then play six mana then refresh it again I could get a lot of mana and got refresh here as well actually we might even keep this actually I think we might keep this this can get actually this is a nature spell gives us two two so the only one we'll throw away would be this one <clears throat> So we coin, uh, well, we've got it back. The problem is you've got to be careful here because this refreshes two mana. Right, so our hero power could be very useful for removing annoying taunts here. We're going to play this. So now if we'd refresh both mana crystals now, we'd only get one mana. So that's not a good idea. Do that so we'll just go with this okay so now summon the treant let's play this first just in case we get a one cost spell interesting This could be a decent. This can be a decent card, actually. Time is of the essence. So we're going to force him to play into me. It's unfortunate that didn't quite work out. If he wants to overload himself for two, go ahead. You can kill one of these. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, that's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Good old. Good old. Um, token Druid. Back from which word? This is when Token Druid was really strong. 
Who is that card? Um, ah, just one more mana because we've got Soul of the Forest in as well. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't have any board clears. It's very unlikely with this deck. They seem to focus only on getting on board quickly like I do. And just using minions to trade. <clears throat> okay, Hyper Blast is nice. And Vampiric Fangs. Yeah. I'm just going to Vampiric Fang this. I think... What do we have here? Refresh all the mana crystals. I'm not sure if that's going to be that beneficial. Let's just get rid of this. We've got the perfect setup to counter this uh, very aggressive Finley deck here. We even managed to get our, our poison uh, weapon in, which is really, really powerful. This is so strong to actually get this in and have a board. So it's looking very good now. Uh, we're going to have four mana next turn. I guess we just play Soul of the Forest. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of all these wisps, this is going to re resurrect um, a lot of 1-1s. One it would be nice to resurrect the 2-2s, two but 1-1s one are okay as well. <coughs> yeah. Right, so he's lost the Divine Shield, so I just kill that. Fine. No problem. Play this. Just kill it, he's overloaded seriously now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's playing catch up now. Every time he tries to use the hero power to help clear the board, he can only clear two minions maximum, and he overloads himself for the next turn, so looking very good now. Oh well, I haven't seen that card for a very long time. I'm sure those who play wild play uh, even shaman. I think this is probably uh, one of the basic cards, out, isn't it? Right, and the, the problem is he needs to buff this up and do that, right. A nice little play I've got coming up. Just get rid of the divine shield, give this uh, three attack, and that will kill this off, causing the divine shield here to pop. So I can uh, just kill this with the poison, and anything else he wants to play as well, just lose its divine shield as well. <clears throat> I might just have lethal, so might might not make a difference. Yeah. It's probably lethal here, isn't it? Oops, got to take, get the right one. So this is 14 damage. Right, but of course I get to pump this up. Let's play Right, I want to play this last because I don't want to accidentally um, level up this. And let's just refresh mana crystals. Give us some more mana. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Uh, 
And let's just do this now. Yeah. That's a pure aggression of this deck. It's just very, very, very scary. If you don't, you have to, the way you beat it is you've got to stop me getting on board. I think the two games I lost probably I was against. Don't want that. This is the most useful. Removing a minion which might be taunting my uh, attacks. I mean, this is good, but those two are really terrible for this deck. That gives me card draw. This gives me card draw. Yeah, this looks like the best. This is definitely a very key card. This is a premium card here. That's good for card draw. And even that's not bad with aquatic form. One mana, three, five. Yeah. Um, the only reason to take this would be because it's nature, but no. <clears throat> Up to eight. It's amazing how little you need the hero power for this deck to work. That's why they, that's why they nerfed it. Maybe I wonder. Are there any other hero powers I could use instead of this one? I mean, the fact is that the, this the hero power is very useful if you want to get through a taunt to give lethal, or uh, you've got nothing to do, but you've got a minion on board. Is very strong. So probably three mana hero power, but yeah, the, the, the healing one. Bow move versus what was this? The one which reduces the cost of your minions. Witness the ways of my forest. The one which gives you uh, armor and hero power hmm. and uh, attack. Uh, so that's good. That's good. This can be good. This it was an aquatic form on something a bit better earlier on and we've got a small backpacks okay wow this is a this looks like a really powerful hand here i guess it's coin this maybe coin this and then we come on board sec turn two no minions okay Okay, might be tricky this if we can get there quickly. So I want to get on board straight away just in case. <clears throat> so what do I do? Do I play this? Lightning Bloom, this? Oh, nice, nice. That is really good. Oh! Oh! Really? Oh. That wasn't nice. Shame. Uh. So he's got double spells. Hmm. Let's stop pumping this up. Hopefully, we'll get some minions as well. Okay, can you deal with a 10 10? I mean, even that massive overload spell in does 8. Don't kill it. Oof. Random card generation is a bit scary. <clears throat> what do you want to summon treants next turn? Maybe we just do Arbor up? Don't know. 
It's a tricky one. He's going to have his uh, three mana taunt, uh, three three taunt coming up soon. <coughs> Not a hex, please don't hex me. Alright, fine. Alright, so what do I want here? Probably want the lowest cost card, don't I? Room to grow! I've got lethal next turn with just uh, this and any yeah, any nature spell is lethal now. That's not gonna help. Oh, he's hoping it hits him twice. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, that's the thing about that uh, thing. That was very risky. He could have done it. I would have been very lucky, I would have been slightly awkward. Because uh, when he gets close to completing quests, things kind of get out, out of hand. <clears throat> right, fine, we've made it. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, sorry. So we've got this, we can't draw. This doesn't really do much for me. Gather. Green. It's a bit slow, it's not a spell. That's a nature spell. I still think I can win this by having a very low fast curve and having no, no high cost cards. So these two are actually anti synergistic. It's a really nice card. Nature card, armor, summon an 8 cost minion, but. Doesn't really go with my deck at all. If I wanted to have fun, I would have picked it, but I want to see if we can go all the way here. Yeah. There's other different decks I want to try out, but you know, I picked this one because you know, if you want to win, <laughs> this is the deck you pick if you know how to play it. All these other fancy decks, like uh, like at least Taunt or Scarlet Taunt or the Warrior Taunt. You know, or even in the hunter sort of death rattle decks, or, or the Omu druids, you know, big minion deck, some of the other big decks out there. They're all very good, but they need time to get going to get their combo pieces together so they can be efficient on board. But if you just put a massive wide board with big taunts up before they can do anything then we're usually going to have the advantage of most mass most matchups <clears throat> so this should be a straightforward win and unless he's got some incredible cards do we keep this I want to make sure we've. I actually want to make sure that we've got something, a minion to play turn one, because we've only got three cards and we've got the four, five, six because of the small backpacks. We can draw our regular one plus the extra two at the beginning. Ah, Meek Mastery is very nice. Okay, so he's going to have an aggressive deck as well with the totems, and we've got to hope for the best here. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted to see. Now this is an interesting one. Incarceration can counter a really powerful minion, but we'll see if he's got any powerful minions to speak of. Okay. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. We 
So, hmm, now do we really want to remove that? What's he got? What's his, uh... Oh, why is not showing his... A meek mastery. Don't know, this should be showing his, uh... His, his passive hero power, then. <clears throat> so, hope he doesn't coin out, um... Lightning Storm. That would be very frustrating. But you can't really play around one card. So we really need to kill that straight away. Okay, this is good. So we get two uh, nature spells here. Maybe even three. Wow, okay. Cool, look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> In two turns, some three ancients, four turns, some three eight eights. I think we want the three five five some more. What a cool animation. Wow. As you can tell I've never played that spell before, but that is so cool. What on earth is that? Is that is that an, is that a legendary spell or something? Uh, I wish we should keep the spells which we use which are generated. Yeah. So all his um all his totem can have whatever. One turn left. So if I do this, let's see what I can get from here. How many does it summon? Three. Let's just do this then. <clears throat> so two have lethal next turn. I haven't even worked out, but there must be lethal here. Fourteen, four damage. Yeah, just these two, two nature spells, and we've got the forest saplings as well. <clears throat> Look, these trees are gonna grow into nice little saplings. But then we're going to get some giant ancients. See, what's he going to do with four mana here? He should be able to swarm the board somehow. We can hear a power to get through that. We'll see what he does. Okay, there's no hero power in that then. Let's see if we get anything here. Oh. Actually, we could try this. Let's try Vampiric, I guess. All patched up. Um. This is the end of the turn, it draws a card, so no point killing it now if I'm trying to go for lethal this turn. It's just too much. It's, even if he clears the board, I end up with three two twos, really which become three three threes after this. 
But who, who knows I've got vampiric fangs? Uh, no mind. Yep, <clears throat> that is why I picked um, this hard removal because you know you have people who are desperate just buy time with big taunts you just want to get rid of them straight away and also especially with the divine shields you can't really trade with them efficiently just get rid of them okay blade this makes much more sense one cast uh, spell which buffs the board it's exactly what we want yeah let's just skip all this <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's a good turn two play. That's a good turn three play. Just now, for the first time, we're risking getting a no turn one play. Ooh, we really want to turn one play. Oh, we don't get it. Oh, we might still. We still got one card to draw. <coughs> we don't get it. If I have two missiles, they'll do one each. Okay. So this is actually a very strong counter against my deck, my board. Um, Iron Roots, not so much. But luckily they nerfed it to three mana, which makes a massive difference. Um, let's do this. So we get a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2-2 two, two now, which makes it impossible for his hero power to clear it. Okay. Just to spread things out a bit, man. What happens if he removes this board? I mean, this is card draw and it's decent. Yeah, I'll we'll take that. <coughs> so this isn't a board-based deck, so we don't have to trade so much as we did in the last game. This is more of a spell burn-based deck, so the, the gameplay is much more straightforward. Go face as much as you can. I hope he doesn't remove your stuff. Make sure you've always got options to refill the board. Against the shaman, it was more trade, take value trades carefully. Make sure he doesn't leave. Make sure he doesn't get a wide board because he does the same sort of thing we do. My goodness! So he took the damage at least. I suppose that's something. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay, that's good. So let's some let's work this. We'll see what this is first. Oh, that's what we're talking about. That is a card. Come on, buff up the two two. Oh, this is gonna be risky. He could theoretically clear this with a zero power, and definitely with an AOE, he can definitely do it. A random six. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Wow. I see you ah, are okay. <clears throat> Do we have a hard removal? Aha. Uh -huh. So 
So let's do the damage first. <laughs> I think we could do it this way now. Right, so if he trades that into that, he could go for the hero power. That would be very risky. Because that's three mana out of his five mana he's going to have to use up to have a possible board clear. Break their ranks. What? Wow. I see you are thriving. Why didn't he... Yeah, he's going to do it on this one. Right, fine. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but right, silencing is not the end of the world for me. Okay, look, he's got three cards left. Oh, he's got... Uh, he's got more than three cards left. Fine. All right, um... So I could get 11 damage here. That's not going to help me. Let's see what we get with this. So I think we trade this off. It's going to get one health. It's going to leave it vulnerable to his hero power. But the rest will just go face her. So we could trade in. We'll have two minions on one health. Three on two. And even if he clears them, then I have two, two twos. And we've got the big buff coming up. <coughs> Give you minions two two. Not that we care about the two health so much. We care more about the... As long as it's not the full three, then we should win this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So he just replaced a 2-2 two -two with a 2-2 two -two and drew some cards. That's all he did. Spells cost one less. After you draw a spell, reduce its cost by one this turn. Right. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, does he have an AoE to kill this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He did it. Come on, I'm going to get lucky. Hit face twice. Wow. Wow. Nice. <clears throat> oh, two health. Okay, so maybe just a two damage here. We'll just do the job. And of course, if he gets rid of all but three, then I buff these up. These become three, four, fours, which is 12. Plus, I'm probably going to, yeah, plus I've got a bit more damage there as well. Three mana. What can he do with three mana? Okay. 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 Okay, I like, I like. Okay. Okay. It's like that, is it? I could refresh mana crystals here and get eight mana. 
I could. I'll have a stealth minion. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I'm just worried about my health total, actually. The strong flourish is only natural. <laughs> I mean, none of these do anything. They're all battle cries, so... Uh... Okay, that's why you got to be careful. You still managed to get through, unfortunately. What a shame. What a shame, yeah. Yeah, that was a kind of a perfect hand there. You had so many ways to remove. Okay, yes, that looks good. Even that's not so bad. Um, let me see and take these. Another two Thorn Growth Sentries. Those are key cards to play early on. The idea is that we've got an extra way of dealing with um, a very powerful um, Taunt of Unshield minion. That's very nice of him. Okay. Let's do this. Um, Time is of the essence. This is probably the best one to take. Let's play another nature spell. Oh, attack minions is very tempting. Okay, that's his turn one, and this is my turn one. <laughs> Maybe do this first. Use the other aquatic form up. So we know we've got three cost uh, spells in the bottom of the deck. Ooh, I think we probably want this, don't we? Um, no, that's not necessary. Time is of the essence. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Because of the nerf, oh, I didn't play it in time. That's a shame. That could have been, made a big difference. Because of the nerf, they only get two one now instead of two two. So this will only have like three health. So it's much easier to trade with. Okay. Yeah. 
it's not so scary anymore, is it? <laughs> Uh, so he's overloaded, he's only got three mana to play next turn, so he needs to play something this turn, otherwise he's in trouble. Okay. Let's see if we get this buffed up. No. Okay, let's see if we can... Ah, we just don't have the mana for this. We'll play another mana. Okay, we'll do this. Thank you. Um, do we have extra damage? No, so we'll just kill this one off. Give this one taunt. We could trade into that. Okay. <clears throat> yep. That's the idea. Yeah, just make sure they don't have anything on board. And with iron roots and the very, very cheap spells, you just pile on the pressure and they can't deal with it. I know because I've been on the receiving end of what just happened to him. You have a very powerful turn one. You turn one, two, three. A very, it's good tempo, but it's not ridiculous tempo. This is ridiculous tempo. Uh, I think we definitely want to take this. Old refill for free. Well, for, th for three, I should say. Oh my goodness! After you cast a nature spell, give another friendly minion two two. This for the first time could actually be a good card. And this deck is actually pretty good because I'm going to get two lots of two two. Wow. Okay. Unfortunately, these two are really bad. Which spell you've cast while holding this? Celestial really isn't a good card at all. No, so I think on average, amazing card, but still it costs three mana, and you've got to play the nature spells and that, so this is only playable turn five or six, realistically. This is an interesting option. If all minions in your hand, one, one, I don't have minions in my deck. Three, four, five, maybe five, six minions, maybe seven. Aquatic form could be useful because I do have a few things which go on the bottom of the deck. I've got a Jean Gardens and Bottom Feeder. I mean, this is tempting, but again, it's not really. You could get a low roll. No, so we'll just go no more, please. Yeah, look, we've already got 49 cards, and, and, and we're very, very well optimized in this deck. It's a very powerful, very well put together deck at the moment. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil the equilibrium by putting some clunky cards in. Let's see if we can go all the way. When's the last time we got 12 wins with Omu? I can't remember. Maybe a year ago, maybe? Maybe more recent. Had some nice runs with Elise, which I didn't manage to upload, unfortunately. Computer kind of went bonkers and we lost the recording. We had an amazing game. We had like a basic Elise mirror matchup, which lasted almost two hours and ended up in a draw. <laughs> that was interesting. Anyway. Hmm. Right. Middle of the afternoon. What sort of players do we have? Casual players who just uh
playing Skittles. Oh, there we've got the series players. I mean, it was very hard to tell from the opponents I've had so far because even if they did have good decks, but they were just too slow to to keep up with me. I mean, that rogue one, that was ridiculous. Getting the Mordresh, wow. Because of the stalling, I couldn't get my lethal turn six or seven, so, yeah. We'll pause it till it loads, maybe. Okay, oh, we've got an aggressive deck. Usually this isn't so strong late game, so I'm curious to see how they managed to get to 11 wins, if, if indeed they did. Um, um, we've got better one drops actually, don't we? Alright, well, I will keep it anyway. Oh. There's a two mana four drop. Oof! It's not what we wanted to see in the beginning, but backpacks, yep, yeah, fine. We play this turn one. And he kill it straight away. If he can't, we go this into this. Alright. What's he got here? He's got. After you first discover reduced cost of spells, that could be scary. First holy spell, the discover a class, uh, uh, spell from the class, okay. I'm going to buff this up first. I think we're going to take evolving spores. We could get some really nasty, uh... Yeah, oh wow, look at that. Eight already. If we get um, Wind Fury, oh my, wow, okay, he's doing it already, he's doing it already, he could probably play a spell now, does he want to? I'm going to give him a complicated board to deal with, wide and tall at the same time, so here we go. This is a very awkward board to deal with, no AoE, destroy big. Could do AOE destroy small. Okay, there you go. That's AOE destroy small. Can he kill another one? Yes, he can. Never mind. Shame. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, okay, let's use up the other aquatic form, I guess. Uh, I, I would like to buff this up preferably, so we can play this first, and then we play this. No, it didn't work, okay, fine. But look at the damage I've done already! What does this do? Does that do damage to his face as well? Incredible. If he leaves this up, i probably got lethal next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, we've got lethal next turn. Okay. It's going to be very close finish this because his spells are coming fast and hard. Okay. Okay, I guess we could do this. We'll summon the treant. I'll give everything a lot of health. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here. Remember, he has to clear 
at least three minions, I would say, which I think he probably could. <clears throat> Is he going to trade with that? Oh, don't do Zyrella. Oh, Zyrella will wreck me here. Zyrella might win the game for him. What's the chance he runs a Zyrella in this deck? Very unlikely. He actually traded. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is this is toxic. Alright. Um All right, let's see what we get from here. Oh, okay, that could be good. And this is also quite good. I think this is better. Okay. <clears throat> We're completely out of juice now. Does he have an AOE? That's a question. I'm not sure if we can win this now. If he clears this board, we're finished. Survival of the fittest would win for us here. Gifts are all around us. There's nine, that'll take me down to twelve. I've only got three things in hand. What a close finish. Right, so that's just going to give him a discover option. And he's left with four spells. So it's maximum down to 16 now. 16 and uh, 9. So I'm left with 7 health after all the trading. Unless he's got some direct damage spells. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Does he have four spells and face damage? I've got three nature spells, so I've got 13 damage in hand, technically. Oh no! Oh, never mind. So close, so close. Ah, never mind. Alright, 11 wins, really good. Let's see the. Let's see what rewards we get. Boom. Okay, let's have a look. Four boxes, pack 195, 260 gold, plus a golden. Uh, golden, not bad. I guess that's 100. Gold, a hundred um, dust, something like that. Okay, not bad. Okay, eleven wins with Omo. Nice. Um, and thanks for watching, everyone. It's an eleven win run with Omo.
And we've got a few packs to open. Okay, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.